end on our program tonight. We'll turn left to go right. We'll turn right to go left. And we'll go forward. Except not at all. And I will spend some time moving sliders. It has been quite a while since the Rally as a series found its way into our libraries and for almost just as long you would be left to wonder what exactly is the point of the easiest difficulty. The AI is so slow that often running joke among the boys would be I could be the AI in reverse. But could you? Well that is what I'm here to answer today. In most games you're not exactly supposed to go backwards, like if you could not find it out yourselves. So, because I have no idea what to expect, let's see some of the ground rules and goals. So, my goals. Get a first place against the weakest AI. And if that is not possible, anything under top 3. And I don't know whether I will even release this video. First issue that comes to mind is that you can't exactly start the race backwards, which means that I have to turn around as soon as possible before we enter the first corner of the stage. Next rule is not to use anything that you wouldn't use while going forward, so no inverted axis of steering and no third party software, it's a question of honor, because don't forget that backwards driving is all about honor. So now, let's start thinking. First, if I want to win, I need to pick a stage and location that gives me the best chances. So let's set things straight. If car goes backwards, it means that no matter what I do, I will be going rather slower than faster, since there is no way to get faster. Trust me, I asked Reddit. So after they fought nuts of me, I consulted AI, you know, AI against AI, using their own trickery against them. Well, ChatGPT said, and I quote, it would require an exceptional level of skill, experience, etc. Now this is motivating, to get speedier. So if car can't go fast, then slow must the stage go. In the other words, since the majority of stages in Dirt Rally are fast, we are really only left with Argentina, which, if you don't know, is pretty much the hardest event you can drive. Also, what is quite nice, though, is that because difficulty of Dirt Rally 2.0 depends on player base performance and Argentina, well, people don't exactly put on impressive performance, to say it politely. So all I need is a reverse or less popular stage, and it should be enough to get close to the possibility of success. But it is not all, obviously. We're not gonna run backwards. Yes, you. <laughs> yes. We need a car. Now I first made a guess, and that was Lanchester Dale, because I thought that Group B, Regal Wheel Drive, will be the class where most people suck. So the times would be easiest to beat. Now, it's time to figure out a way how to drive backwards. So I invented the real slim slidey method of binding look back to zero on my keyboard and then I would put my phone on top of it to keep it pressed down. Truly we can almost feel the scientific advancement here coming from this move. So the idea is to launch, turn it around here before the road gets narrow and then put the phone on the button and then it's time to grind. Roll the tape. 30 over bumps, fall right long, opens up a crest, and bumps. Into fall left, into don't cut heavy right. Into five left. 30 over bumps, don't cut six right, into one left long. Thank you. 
Now that, that is not amazing. Quite far from the goal I would like to achieve. Also I should mention one annoying thing about tuning gears, and that is that only one thing that tunes reverse gear is the final drive. But that only helps a little, so instead of tuning we will need a car to be fast in reverse from the get-go. So I did a lot of testing. I even tried front-wheel drives and four-wheel drives, but the fact that they are more popular drivetrains makes them less desirable for this crusade. The results are in, and my guess was not that far off, since of all the cars I have tested, Lanchester Dale is the second fastest with 77 km an hour, only topped by the BMW M1 with 78 km in the same class. Also, let's talk about the physics of driving, because rear-wheel drive basically becomes front-wheel drive like a harvester. Front-wheel drive becomes unstable rear-wheel drive, and all-wheel drive is still the best, but the popularity prevents the cars, like King Lancelot VI, from even scratching the first place. I don't know about you, but harvesters are not known for being a competitive rally machines. Another thing when choosing stages is uphill or downhill. In fact, the reason why I did not pick reverse stage of the one you are watching is because downhill is not favorable for going in reverse, since our speed is limited and pressing down clutch does not get you any faster since the friction from gravel is still greater than the gravity. So uphill is clearly the best since it eliminates some of that speed difference between the people who go forward. I know, it's weird. There are people in this world who drive a car forward. Maybe. Maniac. Good. But do you know what really makes me annoyed? What makes me really want to bomb Dresden is the rock contact. And no, not like that. If you hit a rock while going forward in Argentina, a little damage will occur, but nothing major. But if you only touch a rock in reverse, the car glues itself on the side of the rocks, and because the steering is like with RMS Titanic, you can't stop wall riding, and that leads to then getting stuck or even worse. You can say that it really hurts when you are back on rocks. Now it's time to furthermore optimize. And my strategical decision is to already start the race with camera looking backwards. And then only flip the car with muscle memory and save time on the looking back. Two, one, go. Thirty, three left long, into five. I also change the stage because longer stages have slower AI because of the consistency requirements being higher. The only problem is the consistency requirements being higher. You get the irony. I simply have to drive 9 minutes in reverse without crashing and I have to be flat out. What could go wrong? Left. 
the don't cut hairpin right. Opens up a crest. Bumps for right long, pin right. Into five left. Long into five right. Opens up a crest. Opens up a crest. Thirty of a bumps for left lot. Long of a bump, tightens of a crest of a finish to stop. Well done. Stage finished. Well done. We go with shit, shit, shit again. Hello, how are you? I am under the water. Please help me. You're too much raining. <laughs> well, as I'm grinding this stage in late night hours, the best place I get is third and then second. But the gap between the second and first is so huge that I go to sleep feeling less than amazing. <laughs> But first run of the morning, and this run will be remembered as the day when I can finally say, Dear Codemasters, I have beaten your game in reverse. One, go. Thirty, three left long, into five right, opens of a crest. So what have we learned? Not a lot or a lot. But I have proven that just like you can beat a cheese with a stick, you can beat the try 2.0 in reverse. But just like with beating a cheese with a stick, can doesn't mean you should. Maybe if you would like me to create a video where I will give you all the information needed to start driving in reverse yourself, you can write it in the comment section. But beware! This does not have positive effect and on your mind. Right, Nonetheless, let's dive into the driving into in reverse right. itself. To be honest, okay. it is rather annoying. The car is not really responsive, but once Three you get left. only slightly right. sideways, its commitment to committing spinful crimes increases. But because left. you are powered by the rear wheels, which are now in front, it basically wants into to slide, left. but the pull of the power is preventing it from sliding, which means that the car almost moonwalks sideways. If this is the way to put it. Not in a good way though. 
Like I believe that it is the fastest way to basically power slide while steering locked full and pedal to the metal, but it is quite unpredictable. And for the sake of this video, since I was able to succeed without the need for this, further exploration was not required, but if you want to get really speedy backwards, this is the way. But once again, finishing this while challenging, as you can see, I still finish with a decent amount of time to spare, so I believe that you can pull it off as long as you have at least some hours in the game. Personally, I would say the difficulty of driving backwards is same like driving BMW M1 forward flat out. Although let's be honest, driving BMW M1 is not an easy task, especially in Argentina. To be honest, I think that maybe even the Stradale might be a better car since it is lighter and does have more or less same top speed. Into two left, small cut. 30. Four right, don't cut. Into two left long, tightens. 50. Keep left of a crest. Into five right, don't cut. 30. Five right long, tightens one. Into two left long, opens. Into six left of a crest, 30, unseen, one right long, tightens. 50, keep left, into four right, don't cut. Into four left, extra long, tightens, two tightens. 30, three left long, 70 over bumps. Keep left, into three right tightens, 30. Five left long tightens, into five right long, 30. Six left, 50 over bumps and jumps, slow two right tightens. Open six long, tightens four, into six left, 50, caution, keep right into one left, tightens narrow. Three right, don't cut, 30, five right, into six left of a bump, 30, four right long, tightens, 60, unseen, three left. Into three right long, open small cut of a crest, into unseen, open hairpin left. Opens six long. One hundred over bumps. Six right. Into six left, 70 over bad bumps, five left over bump, open slow, 30, one right tightens. Fifty. Unseen, two left tightens. Opens. 30, three right narrow, 30. Two right tightens, don't cut. 50 of a bump, two left tightens. Into six right, 40, one left narrow. Into five right of a bump. Into six left of a crest, into unseen one right. Opens 30. Caution, keep left, into six right, narrow, six left. 30, full left, slow 30, unseen, hairpin left. 50. Six right of a bumps. Into six left, 
30, unseen, open happen right. Into one left long. 30. Five right long. Into five left. And don't cut, six right. 30, bump, crest, three right long, open six, into unseen, one left tightens. Into four right, four left narrow, 30, unseen, open happy left. Into unseen, open happy right, into turn four left, into unseen, open happen left. Into happen right. Keep left of a 30, two right. Into one left, small cut. Opens 30, three right. Four left, don't cut. Into unseen one right long, opens six, small cut. Forty, one left. Into three right. Into six left, thirty. Four right, into narrow hairpin left. Into four right, 50, six right, opens 70 over bump, five right, 50, two left. Into three right, opens over crest, 30, Five right long of a bump, tightens of a crest of a finish to stop. Well done. I think we have a good chance of a win in that stage. Yes, that's right, absolutely smoked the first place.